Welcome to this look at a fairly new mod map to Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. CDP. I am here on the North March. This is a new ish mod map out by LS Schleswig Holstein. This is 194.22 megabytes download. And I'm going to start off by saying those jets do. Uh, if you don't like jet noise, aircraft noise, you're not going to like this. Um, and they seem to crisscross the map all over the place. I'm assuming the map is set somewhere near an Air Force base. Um, they look like Typhoon jets. Um, and they, they're about a lot. I'm just going to put that out there straight away. Um, contracts are available on this map. Um, there are some required mods for this map as well. Unlike some maps, when you click on the map, it will automatically download the mods. This one I assumed it had. When I clicked on the map to start, it then asks, do you wish to download the mods? And then it did them all. Um, so, yeah, it wasn't quite automatic, but it will do it when you want it to. We've got the wind turbine pack by Razak, the recycling centre by Gwendal, the Dutch shed pack by Ref Farmer, DMI 20mm Normandy, the cow shed 3 plus 3 by DMI 20mm Normandy, sugar factory by Gamer HZSFSH, half timbered farm buildings by Vertex Design, the bunker silo newfangled by Dithmarsha Modding, bale and pallet storage by Rowley Christie 1 VSR Modding Sir. Could be F-16s actually, I thought they were Typhoons, but I'm looking down the side, could be an F-16. Anyway, we start on the map here, at the main vehicle shop. The map looks like this. We've got a kind of north section and a south section. On New Farmer, we start with all of these plots. This plot here, 254, has got the first farm. There is a second farm on here, two biogas plants. We have a forestry area over to the side. Field prices do vary quite I say wildly. I mean, you've got some very small fields. You've got mid-sized fields. Um, the larger one, 1.7 million. Um, we do have this one that we start with, which is 1.5 million, which is pretty cool on New Farmer. And then you've got this kind of berm that runs on the bottom, well, all around the sides, actually. I think like floodplain, flood protection. There's one entryway through this berm here onto this whole bottom section of the map. There's no cell points or anything in productions down there, but that's all fields out to the bottom of the map, which we'll, we'll kind of have a, a dip into and have a look as we go around. We do have a big grass meadow field down the side here. Like I say, a few little plots knocking around. Um, I'm just trying to think of, you know, 64 grand, 68, field 12 there, 23 grand. So you can start off really small, gradually work your way up, no problem at all, which is good to know. Now, I've said about required mods, as far as build mode goes, and the build mode and sheds, there are there are the required ones I've already said, but we have got some that one on the end there, the small garage by North March. Um, there are, I say by North March, <laughs> by LS Schleswig Holstein, but for the North March map, we do have some. So under sheds, uh, under silos, we've got some bits in here as well. Uh, that one there, the Unia. Farmer 400 is usually a 400,000 litre uh, silo. That's a 5 million litre silo. As far as I can tell, it's still standing crop types though. Um, we did check with the trailer, but we do have an additional crop added in on this map as well, which we'll talk about that in a little while. Uh, there was nothing on the silo extension and the containers. We've got some slightly modded containers. And the tools, we've got a jet wash, we've got a large weighing station. The recycling centre is part of required mods. Uh, farmhouses, required mods. Under production, We've got quite a few modded. Now these aren't necessarily um, recipes or um, production speeds, but the buildings themselves have been tweaked a little bit here and there. So you've got some there under North March. Uh, selling points, recycling centre, greenhouses, there wasn't anything, orchards or generators. Under animals, we've got cows and pigs were the only two that had anything modded. But again from the required mods, was it chickens? No, just cows and, and pigs. Uh, under decoration, I don't think we had anything under decoration under, uh, either, but under landscaping, under painting, the textures, we've got quite a few. Cobbles and cracked paving and concrete slab work and cob... Yeah, there's a whole load. Um, so there's some quite nice textures added in there, including wet sand. Under the build mode, now onto the extra crop type then. We have got field grass. If I go to actually back to that, 
and look at crop types the right hand side if we go across one you've got field grass sat there now field grass um you can silage harvest it with an all crop head if you want to you plant it with a regular cedar you harvest it with a regular harvester header if we go into here and i'll show you under headers it shows on the end there so you harvest it with a regular harvester header um, and you put it in the ground with a cedar as it shows there and if we come out of there and we go into our sales menu you can sell it as a regular crop type there you go field, cry, field grass now this is another map i've encountered this isn't the first one um that this has happened we've got heat and soy drink and i've been around the map and looked at the production chains i can't find where what is producing soy drink that i can sell it um which is a bit odd what else was i going to say oh yeah the field grass you can feed if we go to although there's not a modded chicken pen if you look at the on the right hand side there you can feed field grass to your chickens as, as well as wheat barley and sorghum so something else you can use it for if you don't just want to sell it you absolutely can slot count then on all three game modes 1245 the difference being that you don't own the land on farm manager and start from scratch but you do start with all the buildings are all on the map the vehicles and machinery are all, are all still owned um, if you sell all the buildings at the two farm areas, which I'll show you when we get there, I got the slot count down and removed the vehicles you start with down to 1,003. And then you can build up from there if you want to. All the vehicles and machinery are here at the main machinery store. So whatever you start, however you start, they're going to be here. So you've got to take them out to whatever farm you're going to be starting with. So we've got a, a Deutzwar top liner. We've got a case, a, a case, a class. Axion. We've got mowers, we've got fertilizer spreader, um, we've got a power harrow, subsoiler, plow, baler, trailer, forage wagon. And then if we come out here from the vehicle store, around the side we've got the workshop trigger, header trailer with our header on it as well. This is the reset point on the map too, so if you need to reset anything. Oh, that's a nice quiet one, maybe that's electric. Oh, oh look, there's another one, look. And then you get some go that way as well. Uh, I know sometimes on maps people will say that after a while things like that, dogs barking, loud, and anything can get frustrating. Again, I, you know, I only mentioned it because as I was going around, you can hear it a lot. We've got a fuel point just over there, gas station point, um, with a jet wash. I'm just going to get a pickup so we can get around the map a little bit quicker, and we shall crack on. Just checking on my notes to make sure I haven't missed anything from the start. Don't think so. Did I say what the megabyte download was? If I hadn't already, 194.22 megabytes to download this map. And then obviously the additional megabyte download for all the mods that are required for the map as well. Into the pickup then. And let's crack on. I will, as I always do, show you where we are on the map. Where we're going, where we've been, all that kind of stuff. Just so you get an idea of, of the sort of the layout of the map and our position in it as we're moving around i'm going to take a quick detour out to the east because there's a couple of cell points out that way then we'll come back to this there's a whole other cell points here and like i said most of the production most of all of the production chains and cell points and farms are in the top two thirds of the map it's very clean it's very tidy um color palette's nice it hasn't got that, um, I always say it on certain maps, that kind of, there's a kind of gritty kind of feel to it. Um, a real kind of lived in, you, you know, you've got a bit of mud and stuff on the road where vehicles have come in and out of um, field entrances. It feels, cl clinical's not the right word, but yeah, it's just very neat and tidy. Not that's, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Oh, that's what I need to do. There we go, menus open. So heading down the road here, we have got a sugar mill. Now there are two sugar mills on this map. This is the modded one, uh, the Sugar Factory by Gamer HZSFSH.
I'm going to put, like I say, I'm going to put some money in. Now, it's an interesting one. The two different ways of looking at production chains. Um, this one, we'll buy it and I'll show you. 70 grand. And then look at the production chain. So, sugar beet cut. Oh, so sugar beet, sugar beet cut, and sugar cane. Cycles per month are high. 12,000, 4,800, and 12,000. But the, re the recipe is a two to one. A five to three and a two to one. The other one on here has got um, a much lower cycles per month, but the recipes are way higher. So it's going to be interesting if you get both of them, if you decide to do any of those, sugar beet and sugar cane, that kind of thing, which one ends up being the one that produces the most, or the quickest, should I say, because it's that interesting thing you often get where you look at cycles per month, per month and say, well, that's really high, but the recipe's quite low and it still takes a while to chug along, whereas you get some other ones where the cycles per month aren't very high, but the recipe is, and it's still then, you know, where you can knock a bit of work out pretty quickly. So, items in there, pallets out there. That's the first of two sugar mills. Heading up to the top. There are some undulations. We've got a few rivers running around. But it's for the most part pretty flat. Turn up here, we've got the grain mill to the left hand side. Just here. Putting in buy and manage production and the pallets I think spawn around the other side. And then we've got the recycling centre. The recycling centre, this always makes me smile. I do I, I like the idea of it. This is a cell point. And the various different bins skips for various different things. We've got some for wood, there's wood chips. This one's an interesting one. This is for um, fabric, clothing, wool, wood chip, and then you kind of general grocery, all the leftover food, then there's all sorts of stuff that can be put into here. Um, we've got this one is for grass and hay. This one here, I think this might be for the wood. This, yeah, it's an interesting one. Um, especially the big bin for chucking all the food into <laughs> it's a curious one but if you're not sure again i always say when i do map tours if you're not sure what goes where head up to goods look on the right hand side as you go through each item as you can see there stones recycling center point of sale that's where we are now that first skip was stones and as you work your way up or down depending on the menu manure Furniture, planks, strawberries, you know, there's stuff here. You just check on there. On the right-hand side, it will tell you what you can sell and where you can sell it. Um, and there's just a case of trying to identify and pick the correct bin for whichever item you're going to be selling. So that's the recycling centre point of sale. What I'm going to do now is put some money in. Because we are going to need to buy some bits of land, biogas, plants and things momentarily. I'm going to head back to where I was when I took the turning. And then we're going to take in the next set of production chains, work our way around to the first farm and then carry on around the map. Okay then, back on the main road. We turned down there and went out that way. The vehicle shop is behind us. We've got a second gas station, so we've got fuel point gas station at the um, vehicle shop. We've got a gas station just here. Taylor's to our right. Following the little road around. This is what I said about them being modded, showing in the mod hub. 
uh, in mod type in the build mode as um, modded because they have been altered slightly. So North Marsh Sugar. So this is the second sugar mill, and you'll see what I mean with this one. If we click on that one and do that. So this one, the cycles per month are lower, 48, 48, and 48, but the recipes, 500 to 250. I mean, it's still a two to one ratio. Um, you're losing half of your product, but a 500 and 250, it's gonna produce quicker. As opposed to that one with higher cycles per month, but the recipe's slower. So it could end up, it balances out completely. So that's the second sugar mill. Across the road, we've got carpentry. Again, slightly altered, that's why it's showing as a, a modded factory under productions. Spinnery, just here. We've got our bakery to the left, cereal factory. Just there, we come back around again off the little industrial estate business park. Watching for pedestrians as we go and swing it here. Lime station, just here, around the other side of the building. We have got Grain Ag, cell point, just here. There's no cut through to the next bit, we've got to go round, back out and round. So that's no bother. Now actually, that's what I, was, I wanted to check something. Let me go to here and come back up. Ah, there we go, I did wonder. Um, because it said, um, there are seeds and fertilizer. So I haven't come across anywhere, but the lime stations, as you can see there, I'm on seeds on the right hand side, it says lime station. So anywhere on the map where it says lime station, that's not just for buying lime. Um, we should be able to go further down. There we go, so solid fertilizer, no buy point for liquid fertilizer. So it's just seed and fertilizer, but you can get those at the lime stations. As I thought I'd better double check. So yeah, there, it's got pallets on the side. That's what made me suddenly think of it as we were getting to that point. So, up north again, we're almost at the very top of the map. Just to our right hand side, here we've got the dairy. I'm gonna purchase this because like I said, the soy drink thing's got me puzzled. It's not a cafe or anything on there. Let's buy that and click on that. Butter, cheese and chocolate, no, nothing on there. Unless of course, I'm just trying to look at the Required mods. There's nothing under the required mods that would potentially give us that option because the other one showing is heat as well. Um, but there's no biomass heating plant on the map. It's a puzzler, a bit of a head scratcher. Supermarket cell point, just the right there with the cell point around the back of the building. We turn down here. We've got the Sonnenblick cell points. Around the back of this building. Just there. Cut the corner slightly and we come to the farm that we start with on New Farmer, but it can be obviously can be purchased. And we turn in here. Now this farm that we start with on New Farmer doesn't have a sleep trigger. The second farm on the map that you can then purchase, or you can purchase it first, depending on which way around you do it, um, on Farm Manager or Start From Scratch, does have a sleep trigger. But there's nothing to stop you adding one in. There are plenty of sleep triggers and farmhouses and various different things in the mod tub anyway. Shed and storage space, silage clamp. Shed and storage space here with a workshop trigger over in the back corner, just over there. It's weird when you get to a farm there's no machinery because all the equipment, equipment and machinery is at the main vehicle shop on this one when you start out. It just it feels a bit odd when you're driving around the farm thinking, where's all the stuff? So this is chickens. 
360. Cows, 80. I normally open all these to see where the machinery is. Like I say, it's just a habit. Um, manure heap. Over the back here is pigs, 108. Silo, farmer, 400. Now, like I say, there is the modded one in there. The only thing I could tell, it was regular crop types, but that will hold field grass as well, so you can store your field grass in it. More shed and storage space at the back here. Seed and mineral feed silo. Fertiliser silo. Fuel tank and jet wash. Just there. So that is the first farm. We'll go back to the map. So we started off here at the vehicle shop. We went out all the way to there, to the first sugar mill. Up there to the grain mill, the recycling centre. Then we came back and I saw you back here. We then went through here, all this industrial bit here. Took in the lime station and the, what was that? Grain ag. Back up to the dairy supermarket that one there was Sonnenblick then we're at the main farm here so around the main farm we're going to head out this way now um, but all oh, that was what I was going to say so here at the farm you can remove all the buildings you can remove all the silos all the trees will all still be here um, so I mean you can you can cut them down you can use um, various different tools and stump grind and that kind of stuff if you want to if you remove all of the buildings and stuff from here it will look like this so it can be done and there's plenty of space to put in other stuff it's not like you know if you remove that there are so many trees and hedges and things in the way you can't possibly place other stuff of course you can or you might want to leave it exactly as it is but of course as always is your prerogative moving on from here then we're gonna be heading west So when I said about the lime stations for buying seed and fertilizer, just in here we've got another lime station and around the other side of the building is the cell point EQ. Just there. Just up there, there's a little barn building. You can't buy the plot of land that's on, but you can use the barn. The doors do open, so if you want to use that shed of barn, you can. So the western side of the map now. On New Farm, I showed you some of the plots of land. And we own a strip of grass down the side of there on New Farmer. Just trying to work out the best way of getting to it to show you. Blow it just here. We'll quickly was out. Oh, actually, I'm going to go through the water. That should be it. Oh, we are. Feet wet, people. Feet wet. So it's this meadow out to the side here. As far as I'm aware, I don't think, you know, this, there's no verges periphery of this map that you can purchase. So that section we just went past that's fenced and you can't buy, but we own this one here. So we're almost at the bottom part of it and you can buy that one there. So this whole strip here can all be cut, as can the bit to the south of there if you purchase that as well. And off we go again. Whoa, don't run that corner a bit too fast. 
so we should be coming to a roundabout. Yep. I have, on occasion, on map tours, cut the corner on a roundabout and I always get in trouble for doing it, so I will go the correct way around. So, country trading point, just here, sell point. Around the other side of here, we've got another line station. If I come around the back here and turn in, we've got the first of the biogas plants. Now, these biogas plants are ones where the land and the biogas plant are separate. So, this biogas plant thing is 1.18 million. Why is it staring? Yep, 1.18. These are standard biogas plants, as far as I can tell, standard recipe and standard cycles per month. So if we come back out and we go back to the map, we've come all the way down here to the roundabout, trading point, lime station, we're now at the biogas plant. So if you click on there, you'll notice we've bought the biogas plant, but we don't own the land. To buy the land, it's going to cost you another 972000 to buy the land, which you can purchase if you want to put other placeables down. There is plenty of space out here, so if you wanted to put other stuff down, you probably could. Actually, that was something I wanted to check. Let's buy that and do that. Yep, yeah, because it then gives you access to the liquid manure tank. If we go into build mode and demolish, you can remove the shed. You can remove the liquid manure tank, probably. Yep, you can remove the um, silage clamps as well. So if you want to put a different one in or in a different orientation, or you know, it just gives you a bit of scope to do that. Um, it's not a cheap prospect to do, to buy the biogas plant and the land. That being said, you could buy the land and not the biogas plant. So you could leave the biogas plant as just a sell point, but you could put other production chains and stuff on the plot if you wanted to. Okay, it's fairly expensive, 972 grand for the plot, but you could if you wanted to. So, south again. I was just thinking actually about the jet noise. And there are plenty of places all over the world. Uh, I know in the UK, various different places that I've been to air shows and things like that. And jet noise and Lake District where they're doing um, flight training and that kind of stuff. I'm assuming, gas station just here, I'm assuming studies have been done. Because I do wonder whether animals breed as well, whether it's... I mean, I suppose animals will get used to it after a while. Whether it would startle them, whether it... See, I don't know. Is that the sort of thing? I'm assuming studies have been done for that. If you if you're a farmer near an airbase or an airfield, does it affect your livestock in any way? So, the bottom third of the map, I said we were going to nip through, through the berm and out the other side. Like I said, there are no sale points or production chains or anything down this bottom part. But the bottom part of the map, again, fairly flat couple of little bumps. I wouldn't even say would they qualify as hills, probably not. Oh. And then we're gonna turn down here. This is North March Point. Well this is a cell point, although it does say Sud on there, which is south, but anyway. North March Point, there's another lime station around the other side of this. If we come around to the back, we've got bale and pallet storage here. This is 750. So we've come back down here, and we're here. But, I, oh yeah, we can buy that. I was going to say, I wasn't sure if you could. There you go. So you can own the plot of land the bale and pallet storage is on. We've got nothing in there, but it will do 750. That's part of the required mods. interesting not having that at the main farm. It's quite a trip, I guess, from wherever you are to put stuff into storage if you were going to. Uh, Lime Station is just on the other side of that part of the building there. Back onto the road. Next door we've got the Animal Dealer. Animal Dealer at the front. And the Animal Dealer cell point around the back. 
just there, next door. Now this plot of land can't be purchased, but the buildings on it can. We've got six large greenhouses, so a little market garden. Obviously you can place greenhouses wherever you want, put them in your farm if you want to. But if we turn in just here, Six large greenhouses, all available for purchase. With a water point just up here as well. And these are standard in-game ones, they just require water. They don't require fertilizer or manure or seed or anything like that. I will double check, I'm pretty sure this plot can't be purchased. Yeah, it's on the section, it can't be, but like I said, you can buy the greenhouses and access to water as well. Back out from here around the corner and we come to the second farm. Which is just here. Now none of the triggers are showing at the moment because I don't own the land. But back to the map. We're on this section here, so plop 249, 261,861, do that, icons will all appear. So, silage clamp on the way in, shed space here and here, fertiliser silo, 60,000 litre, we've got a pig barn, uh, this is, how many pigs was this? 25 I think it was. Liquid manure tank to the side. I'm sure it's 25. I think we have to open the door first, though. Open gate, and then the dialogue box will appear. There we go. 25 with liquid manure next door. Farmer 400 silo. Now, I think that's the modded one, so it could be 5 million litres. Shed space to the left. Don't think this has got a workshop trigger on it. I did check. Uh, cedar mineral feed, storage, fuel tank, 15,000 litre. Cow barn is 200 in here. And then, as we come through with another manure heap, as we come through here, we've got the half timbered farmhouse with the sleep trigger just here. But this has got a built in silo as well, 400,000 litres, which is drive through to. Very nice indeed. I'm trying to remember actually. Does this have a wardrobe trigger on the other side of it? It does. Wardrobe trigger around this side. Just off the main road. Nice cobbled courtyard. So that's farm number two. Or farm number one. Depending on which order you arrive at them. Back to the pickup. Oh, that's what I was going to say. You can sell all the buildings on here as well, the same as you could at the first farm. If you sell the buildings on this farm, it will look like this. From here then, back out onto the road. And right, I'm sure it was right. To our left on New Farmer, that's the big field to start with, 1.5 million. Nice big old wind turbine in the middle of it. I know how much people like it when you've got telegraph poles and wind turbines and trees and things in the middle of your fields. People either love it or hate it. They like the immersion, the realism of that being a thing that happens in real life. Some people absolutely hate it because they don't, you know, it makes life difficult for hiring workers and that kind of thing. So, next point we come to. This is TG and Lime Station. So this is the TG cell point. And Lime Station around the back. And then from here, a little bit of a drive. 
out to the second biogas plant. So I'm racking my brains, like I said with the soy milk thing, I know I do, I obsess when I do a map tour and there's something I can't find. Um, I have tried to look and see if there's any parts of the map that are purchasable that might have a building on or a, a little production chain or a factory or something like that, but I, I can't seem to find a thing. So, we arrive here at the second biogas plant, this being the same as the first, we've now come all the way out here, but at this point, I can purchase the plot of land for 890,000, which if I do that, we then get access to two large slurry tanks, digestate tanks at the top here, and there's a workshop in the building, you just see the disc down there, there's a workshop trigger in the building down there, plus it gives you the option to remove those if you want to, if you purchase the land, but you still need to buy the biogas plant itself separately. That don't come as a package again another 1.18 million for the biogas plant standard productions on that and that's the map that's north march by ls schleswig holstein back to the map as i said bottom third there's no triggers cell points thing on there but we started off here we went out we went up around the map did all that down across here to the second farm, back to here. That's it. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.